Doctors in the U.S. and in Europe are sounding the big alarm over a, a worrying spike in children getting sick with a rare but serious inflammatory syndrome they say may be tied to coronavirus. Could this mysterious deaths of children be caused by the illness also explain the higher death rate in African Americans? Newly emerging science tends to possibly link the two. And here now to discuss, National Geographic photographer and ER doctor at Trusted ER in Dallas, Texas, Dr. Jeff Guskey, who's back with us. Welcome, doctor. It's great to be back with you, Fred and Laverne. Uh, yes, the, the data coming out uh, in children is very scary. And, and I feel like we're not being told the truth. Um, and uh, we need to know the truth in order to be safe. Uh, the data in children um, looks to be related to an enzyme that is causing uh, the body to attack itself. And we've all heard about um, the uh, genetic vulnerabilities of African Americans with high blood pressure. And it appears that the science behind what's affecting the children and the science that I believe lo looks very strong as an explanation of why African Americans' death rates are significantly higher are related to this enzyme, which is at much higher levels in the tissues of African Americans. So we've heard that the reason for the higher death rates was inner city poverty and all the problems that go along with that, with chronic health uh, problems. But uh, I think there's more. I think that even an African American billionaire living on a mountaintop in the middle of Colorado could have the same risk. Mm -hmm. And I say that not to create fear, but because as an ER doc, sometimes we have to rip off the Band-Aid and tell people things that are hard to hear, not because we're cruel, but because we care. And when people see danger, they find strength and courage and resolve they didn't know they had, and they can avoid and plan for the danger. And so uh, what, what we have learned last week are three interesting things. One, Governor Cuomo told us that 66% of the new cases in New York were coming from people who were following the rules, staying indoors, and, uh, and, and he couldn't explain it. We're also learning that the disease is spreading to rural areas and the same pattern, nursing homes, prisons, meatpacking plants, what is it that all these things have in common that we're not being told, that they're not seeing? And I believe it, it has to do with the fact that they're all indoors. And, and now we're being asked to stay indoors to stop the spread. We, we were initially told to stay indoors to flatten the curve, which we all did, and we did a great job. But the fact is that we cannot stop the spread. It's impossible. It's a virus. And we're being asked to stay indoors and the, the link is the weather. The weather in certain places is dangerously dry outside, and it causes dangerously dry indoor air in the nursing homes, the prisons, the meat packing plants, and in the, the, the homes of people who are being asked to stay indoors. Mm -hmm. And no one is addressing how to make that indoor air safe. So we're fighting a war against an enemy that we can't see. And in order to win this war, we need to make invisible danger visible. And so, sorry. No, no, no that's fine, doctor. I just oh, wanted to, uh, we... to, to kind of to, to tie it all together. This new syndrome is vascular. High blood pressure, I'm nowhere near a doctor, believe me, but high blood pressure is also a vascular uh, disease. Am I correct exactly. in that? Exactly. Yes, there's, there's an ACE2 uh, receptor on blood vessels that the virus attacks and it knocks it out. And that causes a, series, a cascade of, uh, of very tragic consequences where the body attacks itself. And with the children, we're seeing this multi-organ failure that leads to intense vasculitis and thrombosis. And it turns out that, that very similar science appears to be uh, relevant in the deaths of uh, the African-American deaths that are tragically succumbing to COVID. It's not all African-Americans, of course, but it's, it is a scientific explanation that no mm -hmm. one's talking about. And they should be talking about it 
to explain why the death rate is higher in African Americans. Okay. And so it's, it's really, really important that African American leaders, I believe, need to push to get answers to why we're all at risk, and it's related to dangerous indoor air and, and the weather. In what? fact, uh, you remember that James Carville came up with that saying years ago, it's the economy, stupid. stupid. And yep. I believe that, that the hopeful words for the COVID era are, it's the weather, stupid. Mm. And, and it's, it's because it's the weather that is making us all at risk when we're indoors. That and is, it's a that, simple that, problem to fix. That, doctor, that is a, uh, an absolutely fascinating take. I, please come back and join us next week uh, or sometime very soon. I we would can be really honored. I want out. to do that. Right? It's very important. And yes. the leaders need to panel all the weather services at the White House very soon. So we have warning in advance of dangerous indoor air. Okay, very interesting take. Dr. Gusky, thank, thank you. you. And I promise you one day we'll have you back just to talk about photography. <laughs> I would great. love to do that. All right. <laughs>